The Cambrian explosion. This refers to a narrow slice of the fossil record in which the main animal body plans appear suddenly without any precursors. The Cambrian explosion was a mystery in Darwin's day, and it remains a mystery to this day. Paleontologist Peter Ward writes about the Cambrian explosion as follows, quote, the seemingly sudden appearance of skeletonized life has been one of the most perplexing puzzles of the fossil record. How is it that animals as complex as trilobites and brachiopods could spring forth so suddenly, completely formed without a trace of their ancestors in the underlying strata? If ever there was evidence suggesting divine creation, surely the Precambrian and Cambrian transition, known from numerous locations across the face of the earth, is it. How is it possible that life appeared so suddenly 570 million years ago? Perhaps this is evidence that life sprung up fully formed. Maybe design is true. This is clearly an important interval in Earth history. What is the Cambrian explosion? Well, if you go looking for fossils anywhere in the world, you're most likely to find shells. Some will be recognizable as things that can be commonly found on beaches now, and some will be exotic and bizarre, things that you won't normally see on beaches like trilobites or crinoids. But what every fossil that you can find now has in common, it has a hard part, it formed after the Cambrian explosion. These fossils caught the attention of early geologists. It was one of the things that they focused on when they were looking at the different kinds of rocks that were around Europe and England. They started clustering the fossils into different groups, and that's how the modern geologic timescale came about. The early geologic columns had basically four time periods. The modern times, the dinosaur times, the pre-dinosaur times, and the pre-fossil times, which was also called the Precambrian. The Precambrian at that time was a mystery. There were no fossils to be found, and many early geologists thought it was the primary rock, or the original creation. In the last 50 years or so, much more attention has been focused on the Precambrian because now we have the tools and the knowledge that we need to adequately deal with these rocks. If you divide the history of the Earth into the Phanerozoic, Phanerozoic means visible life, if you take the Phanerozoic time and the Precambrian time, then you're dividing the time of the history of the Earth into proportions of 13% and 87%. Nearly 90% of the time that the Earth has existed, there have not been the kinds of life that we would recognize that are so common now. The Earth formed at the same time as the solar system. The solar system formed four and a half billion years ago. On the Earth, the oldest rocks that we can find that formed just on the Earth formed almost 4 billion years ago, and even in those rocks, some people think that there may be life in them. It's a little bit controversial. However, by about 3.5 billion years ago, there's algal mats. Now, algae may not seem like the most impressive kind of life to you, but it was absolutely crucial in the development of our planet. The earliest life consisted of simple, single-celled organisms. Eukaryotes that we can recognize didn't come around until maybe two billion years ago, somewhere around there. What the earlier life did, the simple life, it made oxygen. Oxygen, though, is a poison. Once it reached high enough concentrations, many of the cells began to die out. That opened up niches for new cells to form. The ones that had the ability to process and deal with oxygen were able to survive and continue to replicate. Well, I can say all this, but how do we, how do we know it? Why do we even think it? There's fossil evidence of this in South Africa and Australia and a few other places in the world. Algae is 
convenient to be preserved and then found in the rock record because it often grows near the water level, near beaches, so it can be covered and it can last for a long time in the rock record. The algae seem to have dominated life on Earth for almost two billion years. There's no way to really be sure, though, because there could have been any kinds of beings moving about the Earth at exactly the same time, but we don't have the evidence of those things. We can say something about the oxygen in the atmosphere because of the rocks that formed directly from the ocean. Oxygen in the atmosphere mixes with other molecules in the oceans, often something like carbon and calcium or magnesium, and this kind of rock forms that's called a carbonate. Carbonates preserve the oxygen and the isotopes that are in the atmosphere, and that information can be used to deduce all kinds of things from the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere to the temperature of the sky at the time. Well, we can use similar lines of evidence to know that by one billion years ago, a major change was happening. We can even find colonial eukaryotes, such as Horodiscia. By 630 million years ago, there were recognizable fossils in what's called the Ediacaran period of Earth history. There is something strange about the fossils, though. There's no hard parts, no shells, no bones, no teeth. Just the soft, gooey body parts of worms, and things that seem kind of like trilobites, but they have no armor. Their footprints, identical to the ones that would form 100 million years later in the Cambrian, but there are no shelled creatures making them. Well, after the Ediacaran period, there's the Cambrian period, and the Cambrian explosion. So what happened at the Cambrian explosion? Was it the new creation of life suddenly from absolutely nothing? That doesn't seem very likely. We have a lot of record of life before them. What seems to have happened, though, is almost as interesting. The entire chemistry of the ocean seems to have changed. Organisms universally began producing calcite shells all at the same time. Bones and vertebrates were appearing suddenly at this time. What was happening is that the ocean was providing more calcium and phosphorus to the animals, and they had to get rid of it. Soon, the shells and bones were forming, and even something that looked like this, Hycoichthys, the oldest fossil vertebrate, and a common relative of me and you. That's what happened at the Cambrian explosion.